What's up everybody? Coach Matt here from itmatters.co. Today I'm going over the two basic elementary passing skills. Let's get started. What's up everybody? Coach Matt here. Today I'm going to teach you two basic basketball passing skills. Now, there's a bounce pass and a chest pass, and we're gonna go over both of those today. Now, when we pass the basketball, whether it's either a bounce pass or a chest pass, there are key components that we need to focus on. When we're passing the ball, the basketball needs to be at our chest level. Wherever we go, we're gonna pass the basketball and it's going to come directly from our chest to our teammate. Next step is literally we're going to be stepping forward to where we're passing the basketball. Now in this case I'm passing the basketball against the wall. So I'm going to start at my chest. I'm going to step towards the wall and hit. And I'm going to follow through. So I'm going to step towards my target and I'm going to hit the wall and I'm gonna follow through. A bounce pass is when we're gonna bounce the basketball to our teammate to move the ball around the basketball court. Now, when we're doing a bounce pass, specifically we want to bounce the ball in the middle between myself as a player and my teammate. One way we can practice that is by using a wall to practice the bounce pass. Now, when I'm doing a bounce pass, I want to lead with my dominant foot. I'm a lefty, so when I pass the basketball, I'm going to lead with my left foot. If you're a righty, you're going to lead with your right foot. So I'm going to demonstrate how to pass the ball with my left foot. I'm going to hold the basketball up. When I pass it, I want to make sure I'm gripping the basketball firmly. I have a good handle of it on both sides. See how I'm bouncing the ball in the middle between myself and the wall? I'm leading with my left foot and I'm fully extending to get the most amount of power possible passing the basketball to my teammate. Okay, so I want you to get a basketball and we're going to practice 10 repetitions of a bounce pass, passing the basketball against the wall. Ready, go. Great work everybody. Just when we pass the basketball, whether it's a chest pass or a bounce pass, we want to make sure we're stepping to our teammate and that we're following all the way through when we pass the basketball. Now, to focus on following through, when we follow through, we want our hands and our wrists to go outward. That's how we're going to generate more power. So when we bounce the basketball, we're going to lead and go outward with our wrists. Lead and go outward with our wrists. Okay? Those are some major key points to focus on when doing a bounce pass. We're going to step with our dominant foot, and when we follow through, we're going to go outwards with our wrists to generate power. All right, everybody, our next skill is a chest pass. We're going to use the same components of a balance pass, only we're going to pass the ball against the wall and we're not going to have the basketball bounce on the ground. We're still going to use the same concepts. We're going to lead with our dominant foot and follow through with our wrists and have our arms fully extended outward. 
I want you to try 10 repetitions of a chest pass against the wall. Ready? Go. everybody thank you for watching this video i hope you've gained some knowledge and some pointers on the balance pass and the chest pass and please try them at home or on a basketball court or anywhere in an open space also please click the card in the upper right corner of the screen if you missed my previous video on dribbling i go over some specific basic and elementary dribbling skills Again, thank you for watching this video. Please like it, subscribe to the channel, and tune in weekly for more physical education and fitness content. See you next week.